It looks like Joe Bama Biden lied. Say it ain't so, Joe. Say it ain't so. Not long ago, when General Miley was the woke general of the military, defending CRT and cross-gender training, transition training, and wanting to make the military woke, he was the hero of the Biden administration. And when he came out in the new Bob Woodward book talking about that he stopped Donald Trump from declaring war on China, actually an act of treason, stepping outside of his constitutionally ordained role as a general and actually taking upon himself to contact a government behind the president's back, he was a hero that despite the fact that military brass on both sides of the political aisle were calling for his resignation, Joe Biden was with him. Biden is standing behind America's top general amid some calls for him to resign. I have Thank great you, confidence in General Milley. Great confidence. But then General Miley, when brought before Congress and being grilled on the horrific exit out of Afghanistan that led to 13 of our servicemen dying, as well as hundreds of American citizens and those who worked with us being left behind, as well as billions of dollars in military equipment and weapons that all got left behind, General Miley said, we told the president not to do it this way. My assessment was... Uh back in the fall of 20 and it remained consistent throughout that uh, we should keep a steady state of 2500 and it could bounce up to 3500 maybe something like that but that's not what the president said so no one no one told your military advisors did not tell you no we should just keep 2500 troops it's been a stable situation for the last several years we can do that we can continue to do that no no one said that to me that i can recall My assessment was uh Back in the fall of 20, and it remained consistent throughout that uh, we should keep a steady state of 2,500, and it could bounce up to 3,500, maybe something like that. Did Joe lie? Did General Miley actually contradict in public the commander in chief and throw him under the bus for lying? Hey, Joe, do you still have great confidence in him? So General Miley, who has testified before Congress of the need for CRT within the military, the need for the proper training and preparation to handle transgender military personnel, the guy who is going for some type of Pulitzer Prize for being the most woke general, and the guy that is even being called by left-wing loon establishment media as a hero and a patriot for stopping Donald Trump from having some type of war with China, which he was never going to do. Um, now, all of a sudden, he is throwing the commander-in-chief under the bus and saying, we told him not to withdraw our military completely, but to leave about 2,500 troops behind so that we didn't have the problems that you saw on your TV screens of people clinging to the wings of airplanes, citizens being killed, our own people being trapped there, and billions of dollars in military high-tech equipment and weaponry now in the hands of our enemies. We told him not to do that. Uh, General Miley is what he is. He is, at, at best, he is a political leech within the military system. And at worst, he's an outright treasonous traitor. It is the commander-in-chief, the president of the United States. He sets the agenda. He decides how we're going to engage with foreign entities and it is not within General Miley's purview to establish backdoor channels with a nation and say, look, if our commander-in-chief, who's a little crazy, launches a nuclear strike against you, I will call you in advance. Stand down. It'll be okay. That, that, that's wretched. And apparently, General Miley, believing that Trump was on his way out, 
felt very comfortable in sharing this with Bob Woodward for his new book. And apparently, General Miley has spoken with other authors and revealed things about conversations he had with President Trump. Now, he's out there saying things about Joe Biden. He didn't follow our advice. And the reason we have a debacle, and Miley went on to say, the reason that none of our allies trust us now and our enemies are emboldened against us because what happened in Afghanistan with the way we withdrew, and this is a direct quote from Miley, disaster. Wait a minute. You got Biden calling it an unmitigated success, and now you have his top general, the guy he's got confidence in, saying it was a disaster. So the question is, between his treason of going to a foreign entity, not exactly a tight ally with the United States in China, behind the president's back and establishing a different set of negotiation than the president himself might have been engaged in, and now openly defying the president and pointing out that what we did was dishonorable to our military, dishonorable to American citizens, dishonorable to those who worked with us that we could not get out, and they're now trapped there. What's going to happen to Miley? Well, Senator Cotton asked him, are you going to resign? And of course, he got indignant about that. I will not resign. But even if he does... Is he going to Leavenworth? No. He'll land at some big corporation, one of our arms dealers, I'm sure, and he'll start pulling down a multi-million dollar salary. He'll be fine. But let a Marine, like Lieutenant Colonel Scheller, who actually resigned his position from the military over this disaster the way we withdrew from Afghanistan. Let's be crystal clear. Some of us have said we shouldn't have been there to begin with. We never should have been there to begin with. Now you have Biden trying to take that victory lap, but yet it was his boss, you know, Obama, who during the presidential campaign against then... Senator McCain, who was running against him, and then again against Mitt Romney, that our entire military operation against Al-Qaeda, against the Taliban, as he liked to refer to them, needed to be directed in, 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 yeah, Afghanistan. Not Iraq. We didn't need to be in Iraq. We needed to take the fight to the enemy, and that needed to be Afghanistan. Obama campaigned on that. Now, all of a sudden, you've got Obama and you've got Biden saying, we never should have been there. No, we were saying we never should have been there. We were saying it even under George W. Bush. But of course, you know, memory gets a little fuzzy with time. Facts become displaced. And it was President Trump who wanted our troops out of there. And it was General Miley who stopped it, even while Donald Trump was still commander-in-chief. So Miley tends to get in the way of a lot of the presidential decisions who has the right and the authority to make these decisions. And of course, some people are saying, but you know what, as much as I can't stand Biden, it was the right thing to get out of Afghanistan. Nobody's arguing getting out. The way we got out is a huge problem. But here's the thing. Biden isn't even man enough to take his victory lap completely saying, I made a command decision. He was asked point blank by George Snuffleupagus, did the military leaders tell you don't do it this way? No, they didn't. I was going on their advice because I follow the experts. You know, this is the same guy telling us all to get boosters when his own FDA is saying, we haven't approved any booster shot. Mm. apparently we follow the experts that we want to follow when we want to follow them, and we just make it up. Because again, at the end of the day, Biden is what he is. He is a political animal, which he is a liar. He is an absolute liar. Always has been. 
the first time he tried to run for the presidency, he had to get out because it was pointed out how grossly he was plagiarizing his speeches and his platform. He has always been a liar. Does anybody really believe when he was on the campaign stump a year ago and he'd tell that story about corn pops? Does anybody really believe any of that? Does anybody really believe that back in the 1950s when he was in a car with his dad and they saw two dudes making out that, is, that at first he was a little bit repulsed by it, but his dad told him, son, that's okay, they're in love. I can tell you for a fact back in the 1950s, number one, you wouldn't have seen that in public. And number two, if you had, I'm sorry, you can, you can say whether it's right, whether it's wrong, put it in the context of the history of the time, a father would not have turned to his son and said, that's okay. That's okay. That nonsense never happened. Biden is the same type of political animal as a Bill Clinton. Lie and say whatever you have to say to the audience that you're standing in front of to gain their support. Period. That is all Biden is about. And he will throw anybody under the bus at any time to save his own skin, his own backside. So, that all said, if he is proud of what happened, why, oh why, will he just not take the full victory lap? Why won't he just say, yeah, I did it. I made a command decision. But he doesn't do that. And then he throws his generals under the bus. They didn't tell me that. Now his generals are throwing him under the bus because they want accountability. Well, what about Lieutenant Scheller? Lieutenant Colonel Scheller, I'm sorry. He resigned his military post, said, I can't do this. Look at what we've done. He posted it online. And now he's sitting in the brig. He's been arrested for this. And I'm not saying we've got to be in, the, in Afghanistan forever, but I am saying, did any of you throw your rank on the table and say, hey, it's a bad idea to evacuate Bagram Airfield, the strategic air barriers, before we evacuate everyone? I have been fighting for 17 years. I am willing to throw it all away to say to my senior leaders, I demand accountability. So here's a real soldier with honor who said, I, I spent 17 years of my life involved in this military action. What he wasn't saying here, I lost friends. I lost men that I loved. We've spilled a lot of blood, and this is the way we pull out? We just yank everybody out, and, 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 and we let the airport fall? We leave all of our, our equipment, all of our technology behind, and we just tuck tail and run? Somebody needs to give us some answers here. And he was willing, right at the cusp of retirement, to throw his pension and everything away, to come out and say, this is the honorable thing for me to ask these questions and demand somebody be held accountable. He's in prison. Miley won't resign. And if he is asked to step down, he will walk into a multi-million dollar gig somewhere. And there you have it. The swamp status quo back in full power. But remember, General Miley is a man of integrity. When he was asked, did you tell the president, leave some troops behind? This is what he had to say. Um, yes, my assessment was uh, back in the fall of 20, and it remained consistent throughout, that uh, we should keep a steady state of 2,500, and it could bounce up to 3,500, maybe something like that, uh, in order to move toward a negotiated, gated solution. Did you, uh, present, did you ever present that assessment personally to President Biden? I don't discuss exactly what uh, my conversations are with the sitting president in the Oval Office, but I can tell you what my personal opinion was, and I'm okay. always candid. <laughs> no, I don't talk about conversations I have with Joe Biden, but I'll tell authors to write books about conversations I had with President Donald Trump. This guy is an absolute reprehensible individual. On the one hand, he said, hey, it was not my job to tell President Biden anything. I can simply advise, but I, I'm not the decision maker. I'm not the decision maker. But then he picked up a phone and called China under the Trump administration and said, hey, you're not going to be attacked, and if you are, I'll override it because, you know, I can do that. Actually, no, you can't. So are you or aren't you a decision maker? What you are 
is the king of CYA. And at the worst, you are a reprehensible, treacherous, treasonous traitor. And Senator, with all respect, rather than ask him if he's going to resign or not, why don't you guys get together and end his military career? Hey, that's it for this little rant today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're a subscriber to the channel. Check out what's going on in the other channel. Don't forget, we are back on the air. AM840 WPGS, local840.com.